after outside again because it's so nice and when I get weather like this it makes me want to do some outdoor projects. I have a special guest today. It is Chris from the Idaho Painter. He is a professional house painter and today he's going to show us how we can updo a rocking chair, finish it, glaze it, make it beautiful so that it will last for years and years longer. So make sure after you check out that tutorial here that you go check out his channel and um, see what other things he has to offer. He is a professional house painter and has lots of tips and tricks on how you can paint your house right. And if you're here from Chris's channel, The Idaho Painter, I would love it if you took a look around. And um, if you like the videos and the tutorials you see here, I would love it if you subscribed. Now without further ado, let's refinish a rocking chair. For all you frugal crafters out there, I got a really cool project for you. I've got a weather beaten rocking chair right here. It's been out in the sun. It's got some peeling clear coat on it. And we're gonna take this rocking chair, we're gonna sand it down and we're gonna glaze it with a glaze and then we're gonna clear coat it with a water-based clear coat and it's gonna look really cool and it's gonna last a lot more years outside. When you're all done watching this video, don't forget to subscribe to The Frugal Crafter and also if you wanna see any more of my videos, The Idaho Painter, go check out my channel and subscribe to me also. So the steps we're gonna go through in glazing and clear coating this chair, this will apply to any type of furniture you got that's got a clear coat on it. So just watch these steps, grab your furniture, and let's go. So I gathered all my tools up for this project. You can get them all at your local paint store. The first thing you're gonna need is a foam paintbrush to apply your glaze with. You're gonna need some rubber gloves to keep the glaze off your hands, otherwise you're gonna be stained for a long time. You want a, a a sanding sponge, medium grit, to actually do your sanding with. You want a spray can of lacquer. You're gonna want a spray can of Helmsman Spar Urethane, and I like water-based, and this is an exterior product, so you can use it interior and exterior. Make sure if your, pro if your project's gonna be outside that you use an exterior clear coat on your final finish. You're also gonna need some rags, and then lastly, you're gonna need a glaze. So you're gonna pick yourself up a, a wiping glaze, and wiping glaze and a stain and a gel stain are all different things. To, uh, to achieve the look that we're gonna do here and, and complete this project, we're gonna be using a wiping glaze from Sherwin-Williams. So pick up yourself a wiping glaze. If you try to do this with a gel stain or a stain, you're not gonna achieve the look. So you wanna make sure you have a wiping glaze to complete this project. So here we go. We're gonna start this project right now. So I'm gonna start off by sanding my furniture. I got a medium sanding sponge right here. And this thing's been outside for a couple years, so it's got some peeling and flaking lacquer on it. I gotta sand all that loose stuff off and then re-clear coat this chair. If your piece of furniture is in good shape and it's got a good clear coat on it, you can skip this step and go right to the glazing. But this has got some peeling and flaking lacquer on it. I gotta sand that and re-clear coat it so I have a nice, good, even clear coat over the whole chair. If there's any exposed wood, it's gonna actually accept the glaze way too dark and it's gonna look really blotchy. So I need to sand it and re-clear re coat it so I get a good, nice, even glaze over the top of this piece of furniture. So here I go with the sanding. Okay, now I've been sanding on this thing for approximately 15 minutes now. It's pretty smooth, feels pretty good. Got all the loose um, and peeling lacquer off of it. Now I'm ready to spray lacquer this chair right now with just some cans of spray lacquer. So I'm just gonna begin by dusting this thing off really good. Then I just got a can of clear spray lacquer. Just gonna be using a satin finish. And then I'm gonna spray this thing over with a nice good coat of spray lacquer. So I'll begin just spraying this chair. All you just need, you don't need a real heavy coat, but just a nice thin, even coat over this whole chair. And this spray lacquer, what we're doing, this lacquer, anywhere where there was, we sanded and it got down to bare wood, this is actually gonna seal that wood from accepting the glaze and because wherever it's bare wood versus lacquer that bare wood's going to get really really dark and accept that glaze really dark the places that got a nice coat of lacquer it's going to stay a lot lighter so it'll give that blotchy look so definitely want to get a nice coat of lacquer of this whole thing so you get a nice even coat of glaze on it nice even color
Okay, once you're done lacquering this chair with your lacquer clear coat, you want to rub it down, make sure there's no rough spots on it. If there's any rough spots on it, just take your sanding sponge and lightly sand those rough spots just to make sure they're smooth before applying your glaze. I just went over this, there's just a few rough spots that I needed to sand and just lightly sanded those and we're going to get going with the glazing process here pretty soon. I'll just start wiping this stuff on here. When you're applying this glaze, all you're doing is just getting a nice coating over the whole thing. Doesn't nothing fancy. If it's really hot and sunny where you're working in that area and you start to see the glaze starting to dry, then you begin wiping it off. You can see I got enough on here that I can start wiping some off. And now I'm just gonna take my rag and just start wiping off as much as I want to achieve the desired look. And I'm gonna leave it into like some of the cracks and crevices and it's kind of just however you would like it to look. And if you wipe too much off, you can just put some more back on and do it again. And I, I, I like kind of like leaving uh, quite a bit of on in certain areas and just giving it more depth and more of an antique look. And so I'm just going to keep working my way around here just like this and really simple process to do. And when you get, apply it, just give it a little time to soak in do its thing, work on it. And these cracks around these areas here, I'm gonna get it in there and I'm gonna leave more in those areas. Using different rags, if you use like a terry cloth rag, it'll actually give you a little bit different look too. So you can try different rags and different techniques and stuff to achieve a little bit different look with your, with your glaze. Um, when my rag starts to get really wet with the stain, it starts leaving more behind. And I like the look when it leaves a lot more behind than when you got a fresh clean rag. It has a tendency to wipe off too much of the stain. It's a pretty fast process. Let's see about how fast I'm working because that stuff's drying. You don't want to be too slow. Just gotta just keep working right along. And the areas that I want more, just adding a little bit more. Areas where I had too much and I want it off, I'm just re-wetting it with my sponge and it'll wipe right off. My rag's just getting right about where I like it. It's got you know, enough uh, of the glaze on it that it's not taken all the glaze off. It's leaving just the right amount on there that I want. It just about got it to where I want it. You want to get it exactly how you want it to look and that's going to be the finished product without its clear coat. So I'm getting, I want a little more highlights and so I'm just adding a little bit more in the crack there in the crevices and areas and just getting the right amount of depth that I want it, how it to look. Okay, I got this chair all glazed exactly the way I want it now. I'm gonna clean up my tools right here, let it set for about a half hour to an hour before I clear coat it. I'm gonna clear coat it with a Helmsman clear water-based urethane in a spray can, which is very simple to use. Okay, it's been about an hour now. The glaze is plenty dry to actually start clear coating it. Just got my spray can of water-based clear urethane and it's a satin finish and I'm just gonna start spraying this rocking chair and that'll be the final process. I'm gonna spray these rockers right here 
let it dry for about 15 minutes, and then I'm going to set it on the boards, and I'm spraying the whole underside, and set it on the boards, and then we'll spray the rest of it. Just about got the thing all clear coated, and that will be my final step. We'll let it dry. Well, I'm just going to sit here and relax and watch my chair dry. And when my chair is all dry, I'm going to turn it over to the customer. I don't know about you, but I am totally inspired to tackle some of those outdoor furniture projects. Make sure you go visit the Idaho Painters YouTube channel and subscribe and check out his other videos. And I would love it if you're new here, if you checked out some of my videos as well. I want to thank you so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Until next time, happy crafting.